Greetings everyone and welcome once again to another daily Bible reading and we are continuing through the book of Deuteronomy and we'll be reading chapters 10 through 12 this evening. So if you have your King James Bible with you then please turn along with me and we will start reading in chapter 10. If you have a modern version you'll probably not get the entirety of God's word and so as he says in uh Revelation and other uh, books, and we just uh, read some of that in one of the Deuteronomy uh, chapters. I believe it was chapter 6 and verse 2 or 3, where he was talking about not adding or taking away from God's word. And uh, it talks about that in Revelation chapter 22 also. So, uh, suggest you get a King James Bible if you want to know the word of truth and know God's word in the English language. <clears throat> All right, so chapter 10 and verse 1. And before I start, I would like to greet you, as I always do, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And praise the Lord, we don't have to bring sacrifices or do any of that stuff like the nation of Israel did, because no sacrifice, no uh, bulls or goats or anything of that will take away uh, sin. It's only through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And all these are pictures of Jesus and uh, <clears throat> the Old Testament. And you can go look through out the whole Old Testament and see pictures and types of Jesus. Amen. Uh, and all sorts of different things. All right. So let's get started in chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, At that time the Lord said unto me, Hew thee two tables of stone, like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. <clears throat> so this is after Moses had destroyed the first two tables of uh, with the law on them, uh, when the people uh, sinned against the Lord, and he came down and was wroth with them, and, and uh, broke the tables, and then he goes back up and asks the Lord to um, give him the words again. And he writes them again and brings them back down and says, "Here, here's the, here's the, what God wrote that you're supposed to do. Amen. <clears throat> so then he tells them to make thee an ark of wood, and I will write on the table, tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest, and thou shalt put them in the ark. And I made an ark of shittim wood, and hewed two tables of stone, like unto the first, and went up into the mount, uh, having the two tables in mine hand. And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spake unto you in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them unto me. <clears throat> Moses says, And I turned myself, and came down from the mount. And put the tables in the ark, which I had made. And there they be, as the Lord commanded me. And the children of Israel took their journey from Beeroth of the children of Jacan to Mazara. There Aaron, Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they journeyed unto Get a get a go, uh, uh, or go, uh, go, go, yeah, Gugada, and from Gugada to uh, Jotbath, a land of rivers and of river of rivers of waters, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, all right, so, uh, a land of rivers of waters. At that time, the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name unto this day. Wherefore, Levi hath no part nor inheritance with his brethren. The Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord thy God promised him. And I stayed in the mount, according to the first time, forty days and forty nights, and the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also, and the Lord would not destroy thee. And the Lord said unto me, Arise, 
take thy journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give unto them. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul? Amen. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, uh, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's, uh, thy, is the Lord's thy God, the earth also, with all that there is, there, therein is, excuse me, therein is. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. He doth execute, uh, execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow, and loveth the stranger, in giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, him shalt thou uh, serve, and to him shalt thou cleave and swear by his name. He is thy praise, and he is thy God, that hath done for thee these great and terrible things, which thine, eye, uh, which thine eyes have seen. Thy fathers went down into Egypt with, scree uh, with threescore and ten persons, and now the Lord thy God hath made thee as the stars of heaven for multitude. Chapter 11 Therefore thou shalt love the Lord thy God, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandments alway. And know ye, ye this day, for I speak not with your children, which have not known, and which have not seen the uh, chastisement of the Lord your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm, and his miracles, and his acts, which he did in the midst of Egypt, unto Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and unto all his land, and what he did unto the army of Egypt, unto their houses, and to their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how the Lord hath destroyed them unto this day, uh, and what he did unto you in the wilderness until ye came into this place, and what he did unto Dathan and Abiram, the sons of El Eliab, the son of Reuben, uh, how the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their households, and their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession to, in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord which he did. Therefore shall ye keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that ye may be strong, and go in and possess the land, whither ye go to possess it, and that ye may prolong your days in the land, which the Lord swear unto your fa uh, fathers to give unto them and to their seed a land that floweth with milk and honey. <clears throat> For the land whither thou goest in to possess it is not as the land of Egypt from whence ye came out, uh, where thou uh, sowest thy seed and waterst, waterst, it, uh, waterst it, it with thy foot, as a garden of herbs, but the land, whither you go to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys, and drinketh water of the rain of heaven, a land which the Lord thy God careth for. The eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it, from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year. And it shall come to pass, if ye shall hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give you 
the rain of your land in his due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil. And I will send grass in thy field for thy cattle, that thou mayest eat and be full. Take heed to yourselves, that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and lest uh, ye perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord giveth you. Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as, for, or front, or as frontlets between your eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, verse 19. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them, uh, who, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine ha uh, house, and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, in the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you, you to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him, then will the Lord drive out all the, these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness of and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even unto the ut uttermost sea, shall your coast be. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon, as he hath said unto you. <clears throat> Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Uh, a blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass, when the Lord thy God hath brought thee in unto the land whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount uh, Gerizim, uh, and the curse upon Mount Ebal. Are they not on the other side Jordan, by the way where the sun goeth down in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the ch uh, cham champion, uh, or the champagne, uh, over against Gilgal, beside the plains of Morah. For ye shall pass over Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you, and ye shall possess it and dwell therein, and ye shall observe to do all the statutes and judgments which I set before you this day. Make sure I think we were supposed to read the chapter 12. Make sure I'm doing this yep chapter 12 all right <clears throat> so chapter 12 and verse 1 okay so here we go chapter 12 verse 1 there are, are these are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the lord god of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills and then under every green tree. Uh, and ye shall overthrow their uh, altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the gra uh, graven images of their 
excuse me, of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of their pl of that place. Ye shall not do so unto the Lord your God, but unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither uh, thou shalt come, and thither ye shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and heave, heave offerings of your hand, and your vows, and your free will offerings, and the firstlings of your herds, and of your flocks. And there ye shall eat before the Lord your God, and ye shall rejoice in all that ye put your uh, hand unto, ye and your households, wherein the Lord thy God hath blessed thee. Ye shall not do after all the things that we, that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. For ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. But when ye go over Jordan, and dwell in the land which the Lord your God giveth you to inherit, and when he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about, so that ye dwell in safety, then there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither shall ye bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the heave offerings of your hand, and all your choice vows which ye vow unto the Lord. And ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God, ye and your sons and your daughters and your men, men servants and your maidservants, and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no part nor inheritance with you. Take heed to yourself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou... Uh, seest, but in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of thy tribes, there thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, and there thou shalt do all that I command thee. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which, is, which he hath given thee. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck, and as of the heart. Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, or of thy wine, or of thy oil, or of the firstlings of thy herds, or of thy flock, nor any of thy vow, uh, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest. Uh, nor thy free will offerings or heave offering uh, of thine hand, but thou must eat them before the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, uh, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God in all that thou puttest thine hands unto. Take heed to yourself that thou forsake not the Levite as long as thou livest upon the earth. When the Lord thy God shall enlarge the board, thy border as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh, thou mayest eat flesh whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. If the place which the Lord thy God hath chosen to put his name there uh, be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd uh, and of thy flock, which the Lord hath given thee, as I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Even as the roebuck and the hart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them, the unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not uh, eat the life with the flesh. Thou shalt not eat it. 
Thou shalt pour it upon the earth as water. Thou shalt not eat it, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Only thy holy things which thou hast, and thy vows thou shalt take, and go unto the, the place which the Lord shall choose. And thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of the Lord thy God, and the blood of thy sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of the Lord thy God, and thou shalt eat the flesh. Observe, and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, for ever, when thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord thy God, when the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whether thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their lands, take heed to, your, to thyself, that thou be not snared by following by following them after that they be destroyed from before thee and that thou inquire not after their gods saying how did these nations serve their gods even so will i do likewise thou shalt not do so unto the lord thy god for every abomination to the lord which he hateth have they done unto their gods for even their uh, their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. What thing soever I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. <laughs> there you go. You have it again. He's saying don't add or diminish from God's word. Amen. Well, that is... The end of our daily Bible reading from Deuteronomy, chapters 10 through 12. Amen. And so, that will about end it for tonight. And tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll be back to read you chapters 13 through 15 tomorrow. So, hope you'll stay tuned for that. Until then, may the Lord richly bless you, and you all have a great day. And wonderful rest of your evening. And again, we don't have to give sacrifices to the Lord as far as bulls and goats and all that stuff. Because there's only one sacrifice that you need to give that is acceptable to God the Father. And that is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. And he is the only one that can take away your sin. So um, bring God the right sacrifice, his only begotten Son. And believe on him, and trust him as your savior, and your sins will be washed away, amen? And you'll have eternal life. Praise the Lord. So, if you want to find out more about that, well, get in your Bible and read and study it, and it'll show you how to be born again, what you must do to be born again, amen? Alright, well, if you're just joining me, please go back and watch this in its entirety, if you like to follow along and Read the Bible and uh, listen as you follow along. Amen. Encourage you to get in the Bible and read it as much as possible. And I know I'm not I'm just as guilty of not reading it more than I do. So let's all learn to get in God's Word more and read it and study it and um, get get closer to God. Amen. As uh, I went over, um, I believe it was this morning about uh, uh, getting closer to to the Lord. Amen. In the devotional uh, study that I did this morning. So you can go back and watch that also. Amen. Alright, well, I'll sign off for tonight. So see y'all Lord willing tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.